With his double squirk, Squirkator, Maxmatic had succeeded in storing the first four letters of the alphabet in the memory. It wasn't really much of a computer. And the Matics laughed at him. <laughs> as bad as their memories were, they could still remember a lot more than that. By adding more squirks, however, Maxmatic Squirkator would become more and more effective, as we're about to see. With two squirks, we have four possible combinations of zero and one, which means that we can encode the first four letters of the alphabet. But let's add another squirk. You don't have to be a mathematical genius to figure out that there are now eight possible combinations, and we can thus encode eight different letters. With four squirks, we've got 16 possible combinations, and we can encode 16 different letters. Maxmatic, who wasn't worried about the expense, decided to make groups of eight squirks. Old Mathematic, who was passing through the neighborhood, showed by a simple calculation that eight squirks side by side added up to no less than 256 possible combinations, which meant that with the right encoder, you could store any of the 26 letters in the alphabet in both capital and small letters, plus lots and lots of signs and other things. Those of you who are already computer experts are probably saying that in computers, a group of eight cells like this is called a byte. Thanks, all you professors. The Matics were now beginning to get interested. But one clever Matic pointed out that while this eight squirk squirkator could memorize all the letters of the alphabet, it could only recall one letter at a time. So what did Max Matic do? Well, he did exactly what you or I would have done. He stacked up groups of eight squirks, squirk bites, in other words, with one letter for each squirk bite. For instance, the name Maxmatic looked like this when it was stored in the memory. And with enough squirk bites stacked up, the memory could store the names of all the Matics and their telephone numbers in the memory. The Matics became more and more interested, especially since they'd never been very good at remembering numbers. But to build a memory like that, Maxmatic needed an awful lot of squirks. This wasn't a problem, though, because back at the professor's house, there were more squirks than you could shake a broom at. <laughs> 